Good morning everybody, I'm Shane Charcha here with another health supplement tip for the day. So today, I am talking about fish oil. Fish oil pills in particular. Um, because you can get fish oil pills in liquid versions or in like soft gels. But there's this huge misconception about the soft gels that I run into when I talk to people about fish oils constantly. They kind of get a little bit mixed up when it comes to what's inside of these little soft gels. So let me start by explaining. So generally when you go to the health food store and you pick up a container of fish oil pills or you know, you're buying it based upon what the front of the label says, you, you may be looking very quickly. So the first thing most people tend to look at, especially when they're buying a cheaper fish oil, is they'll look at the big number on the front that says like a thousand milligrams. And um, you know, people come to me and they tell me all the time, well, I have a thousand milligrams of fish oil. Well, you know what? The thousand milligrams of fish oil isn't what really matters. It's what that fish oil has inside of it. So when you buy fish oil in general, there's only one reason why you buy fish oil is for the, con the content of omega-3. So that number on the front, the, the amount of fish oil, let's say it's a thousand milligrams, that has nothing to do with the amount of omega-3 in it. Um, I'm going to show you a few little kind of drawings I made on the fly, so you know, don't judge me on my drawing abilities. Uh, to show you what's inside of an omega-3 pill. So here's the, the ones I'm using. I'm going to show you. I'm going to kind of block the brand here. But when you grab your, your fish oil company like this, I want you to take a look at the, the side of the uh, container where the ingredients are. So mine contains fish oil, um, and the amount of fish oil is 1,407 milligrams. Now below that, it says omega-3 and uh, this one is 900 milligrams. So that is divided by 900 milligrams EPA and, uh, or sorry, 600 milligrams EPA and 300 milligrams DHA. So that means that the majority of the pill is omega-3. The other oil that's in it, which is fish oil, is really unbeneficial to your health. I'm not saying it's dangerous, I'm just saying because it's not on the label as to what it is, it's not necessarily something that's of benefit. I've heard rumors like it's saturated fat or it's, you know, part of omega-6. It's just naturally occurring fats that are in that pill. Now, when people cheap out on pills, this is where they run into a problem because the majority of the pill is just that useless fat and then it will have a small amount of omega-3 in it. Does that make sense? If it doesn't make sense, I'm going to kind of give you a visual of what it would look like. Now, these are my little drawings of what would be inside a fish oil pill as per a quick drawing. Now, I took a look at four brands, brands that are quite popular on the market and they all range in different price ranges. So the first brand had a thousand milligrams of fish oil, but it only had 260 milligrams of omega-3 within within the capsule like this, okay? So, now, make way, this is some pretty fancy art. So this is kind of what it would look like. So the shaded area would be the omega-3, and the rest is just kind of an unbeneficial oil. It's, it's an oil that's not even listed on your label as to what it is. So as you notice, the majority of the pill is just useless oil, Okay, it could have some benefit as to what it is, but it's not omega-3, which is the reason why you buy fish oil, and it's only a small amount in there that uh, is omega-3. Why is this a problem? Well, the problem is, is that this, you're paying for a capsule that is not necessarily all omega-3, or majority omega-3. You're going to have all this other fat in there, and with that... What that does is that leads to more of that fishy burp up that a lot of people hate. They, they taste fish all day. So it turns people off of buying fish oil pills because they go, no, I don't like them because you know they give me digestive upset and I'm tasting fish all day. Well, the reason generally for that is because of the lack of omega-3 in the pill and the more majority of fish oil. 
So I'm gonna show you another brand. This one's very similar. So this was another thousand milligram soft gel with 300 milligrams of omega-3. Same type of thing, like more of the majority of the pill, as you can see, is just fish oil, okay? The rest is omega-3, okay? Now we start to get into our higher end ones. These are the ones that more of half of it is omega-3. This is where you start to invest a little bit more money and you're, you're buying pills that you don't have to take um, more pills to get a good amount of omega-3, okay? So this one has 1,065 milligrams of fish oil and 630 milligrams of omega-3. Oh God, this drawing is horrible. But as you can see, it's kind of a little more than half in there is omega-3. And the rest is just that fish oil, whether it's, you know, they're just naturally occurring fats, but not necessarily a beneficial fat that you take to treat your body with. Um, last but not least is one that has 1150 milligrams of fish oil and 850 milligrams of omega-3. As you can see, the majority of that is all omega-3. This is actually a really, really good one. I won't even name the brand. I want you to do your research or send me, um, you know, a question about it at shanespilltalk at yahoo.com or, you know, put a comment below and I'll get back to you on that. Now, the one that I was taking that I showed you first that had 1,407 milligrams of fish oil and 900 milligrams of omega-3, you got to understand the more omega-3 they got to put and jam into a pill like this, uh, what's going to happen is they have to put more oil in there. So the pills get slightly bigger. So here's the thing is people say, well, I want a small pill. Here's the problem. The smaller the omega-3 pill you're going to take. For that beneficial omega-3 for you to get a certain amount, you have to take more pills. So some people are reverting or they're going towards these smaller pills, which I'm totally for. If you can't swallow these bigger pills, I, I tell you more to take liquid because liquid's the most beneficial. But the smaller the pill, the less omega-3 per pill. So you just have to take more pills. You can't go out and just expect benefits from taking one fish oil pill a day if it has barely any omega-3. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So what is omega-3? Um, I'll do a quick like little description of what EPA and DHA is. So EPA is very beneficial for inflammation. So that's good for heart health. It's good for inflammation, uh, inflammation of the joints. So if you have any joint pain, uh, skin disorders, anything like that. Uh, irritable bowel syndrome, anything that's inflammation in the body, you can actually Google what inflammation does to the body. It's actually very harmful. So EPA helps to keep that under control. DHA, what does DHA do? Well, DHA is very beneficial for the brain. Um, remember your brain is like, I think it's 70% fat. So you gotta feed it these healthy fats. So DHA is very, very good for that brain as is EPA because it's bringing down the inflammation um, of the brain and anywhere in the body. So omega-3 to me is a very, very important thing that everybody should be on. There's a few key core supplements uh, that everybody should be on and omega-3 is one of those. I'm more a fan of the fish oil blends as opposed to the, you know, the plant, the plant oils because all the research I've kind of looked into myself have pointed towards the fish oil treating the body a little bit better than the fish oil or than the plant oils. Plant oils are very good for, you know, to keep the body healthy and strong. But I wouldn't say that they treat as much because the DHA and EPA, those are the tr those are treating the body, treating that inflammation, treating the brain, treating everything like that. But the plant oil, what it has to do is your body has to convert it into DHA and EPA and then treat the body. And unfortunately, we don't convert it as well as we should. Uh, you know, some people can convert it excellent, but you may have to take a little bit more of the plant oils. So that's my little lesson on buying omega-3 soft gels. Hopefully it has helped you subscribe to the channel 
share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, send me some comments, and I will see you in the next video. I'm Shane Chartrand saying stay healthy, stay motivated, talk to you later. Bye.